Condemned to death by plastic, the hook in the beak of this albatross chick means it can't feed and faces starvation. Wildlife expert John Clavitter tries to help. Plastic is emerging as a real danger. Help me just to... And hold the wings like that? Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm going to simply... And this is squid juice, this is normal. The mother stays <laughs> close by. Any idea yet what it might be? Not yet. I just want to make sure there's nothing sharp. There could it. be a hook on the end or something. Yeah, and it looks like we're going to be able to get it out. There we go. And now That's we can like release little... the chick. Okay. It's a so small it's net it's that it's once easy. held fruit in a distant oh, supermarket. Really piece by piece, this kind of plastic creeps relentlessly towards midway on the tide. Being remote is no defense. And right now, the chicks are hungry. There are nearly two million albatrosses here, and they're all at risk. The problem for an albatross chick like this is that its staple food is squid, when all too often its parents mistakenly feed it plastic, like these cigarette lighters. They look incredibly similar, but these can prove fatal. Now what researchers here are finding is that every single albatross on Midway contains some quantity of plastic. You couldn't get a clearer example of how our plastic waste has become such a threat to the natural world. It's disheartening. Matt Brown, a manager here, shows me what's inside one dead bird. As you poke around inside what was the gut, you find a bit of a toothbrush. The stem of a toothbrush, by the looks of it. Yeah. Uh, some fishing line, a bottle cap. And, and this plastic scourge is getting worse because the great currents of the Pacific Ocean are accumulating plastic and Midway lies right in their path. Fighting the plastic requires a constant effort, an attempt to clean up. I've only been here for a month, so I haven't had time to see yet my work just get covered over again by the next storm. So, But that's you know. the risk. Yeah, yeah, pretty much every, every storm. Do people just throw it because they don't care about it, or does it, is it part of a major dumping operation? You know, and uh, so basically I wonder where it comes from and just, I'd like to see people be a little more careful. We filmed one operation for just 30 minutes. Here it is speeded up. Look how much rubbish was found on this one stretch of shoreline. It was these waters that saw the great Battle of Midway in 1942, when America first turned back the Japanese. Now there's a new enemy. If today the world stopped um, letting plastics reach the marine ecosystems, still for generations this is going to wash up on our beaches. The oceans are filled with this stuff. And the fact that more and more is being deposited uh, into the oceans, just the problem is, is growing, not shrinking. And we're only beginning to fully understand the implications of this on the oceans. The albatrosses have survived here for thousands of years, but researchers fear that plastics, only with us for 50 years, could threaten their very existence. David Shookman, BBC News, on Midway in the Pacific. <laughs>